Now, the Palestinian security forces uh, were formed in the early 90s under a peace agreement with Israel. Numbering 30,000 personnel today, they maintain law and order in Palestinian controlled areas via intelligence, civil defense and riot police units. But a recent surge of Palestinian attacks on Israeli soldiers and civilians is pressuring the security members into a position caught between cooperation with Israel and loyalty to locals. CCTV's Stephanie Freed went out on patrol with the Palestinian Special Forces and has this report. The Ramallah Command and Control Room is the Palestinian Security Nerve Center. From here, special forces dispatch. On this night, a drill in nabbing suspects who blow through a checkpoint. This is a drug bust exercise. Using intel gathered on Facebook and through friends and family, security and police also track and apprehend Palestinians planning attacks on Israelis. Since a wave of violent assaults began in October, they have intercepted 200 would-be assailants. As the threat of Hamas and ISIL influence gains here, joint patrols that are specialized like these make the rounds routinely as a deterrent. Because Palestinian security cooperates with Israel, Hamas and some locals brand the forces traitors and collaborators who help Israel perpetuate occupation. In this close-knit community, they are caught between the call of duty and personal loyalty. And despite a current tenuous Palestinian Authority political tenor, crime is down. The crime is during the past three months is decreasing, not increasing, in, uh, especially in Ramallah uh, area and in Palestine in general, in uh, West Bank. Cooperation is in place for now, but recent incidents involving Palestinian security officers opening fire on Israeli soldiers raise questions about the realistic nature of the relationship. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Ramallah.